Circular Quay is for many a gateway to the city of Sydney. Although some of Australia's most iconic monuments are held there, the area's strong Aboriginal heritage is often overlooked. Aboriginal curator, writer and artist John Mundine is passionate about leaving markers that acknowledge Australia's Aboriginal heritage through his art. For the past two decades, John has been pushing for the installation of a large-scale permanent public artwork that will acknowledge Australia's Aboriginal roots in the form of traditional rock engravings. One of the projects I'm working on, but the major one, is a project called The Song of Benelong and Pemawoy. Overall, the Aboriginal history of Australia has been deleted, forgotten and left out of uh, Australian history as a nation. In uh, Sydney in the current times there are festivals and other cultural events that take place but they're very fleeting and, and only happen and then they're not there. It came to me that, that uh, all over that area uh, and all over uh, Hyde Park and so on, there are statues of Robert Burns and Arthur Phillip and Captain Cook, etc. But you won't find any statues to Aboriginal people, any monuments to Aboriginal people in that area. In uh, the early 90s, I worked at the Museum of Contemporary Art and I looked across Circular Quay to that wall and it came to me the, to use the traditional form of art expression, the uh, incised figures to remind people of the Aboriginal presence uh, that's been there since thousands of years before 1788. These uh, figures are all over the Sydney Basin and in fact uh, they're most probably in or they are in the most uh, public places such as Bondi Beach. Uh, there are rock engravings on both north and south headland in uh, Coogee and in uh, La Perouse. So they are all over Sydney in uh, very public and very inaccessible places. The carvings will represent two male figures, Benelong and Pemawoy, Aboriginal personalities who had significant interaction with white settlers during colonisation. While Benelong accommodated the settlers, Pemawoy led resistance against them. Benelong is accompanied by a figure of a whale shark, the animal with which he shares his name in his original language. Pemawoy is accompanied by a kangaroo, in the same way as he was depicted in the original carving by Aboriginal artist Bobby Sims. All artwork has its own critical mass and dimensions to give it integrity. This particular artwork will be at least 6 metres tall by 10 to 15 metres wide. You will be able to see it from across the quay and as you approach the scale will be bigger as you approach and that will add to the power of the figures, the personalities and the totems that they are invested with. So, so the artwork will leave a permanent mark of who we are and where we come from.